Hello, everybody. I'm happy to give you a little introduction about Europe's policy in data. My name is Thomas Harman. I'm a member of parliament in Germany and a former senator for justice in Berlin. Um, I'm a member of a group of members of parliament who have recently written a long book called in the German word Neustadt. This is the book um, where we described the challenges and opportunities in a new way and made many suggestions how we can solve it. Um, there are many mega trends in the world. Um, two of them I would describe in more detail, but certainly climate change, uh, more people living on our earth. These are all mega trends which come on top of it, what we're not talking about today. The first mega trend I want to talk about is a new competition between Asia on the one side, the US on the other side, and Europe in the middle. Um, and it's, to my mind, not only um, a competition between two areas in the world and two political system, it is also the, the, the search of monopolies, which is behind it. The new platforms, both those from the US and those from Asia, intend to take more and more time of the consumers um, by making them addicted to their platform. And that has many, that causes many problems specifically that those platforms intend to eliminate competition. And the core of our wealth, our welfare in Europe and in, in most parts of the world is competition. And if we eliminate competition or have it in a two, just in two blocks, so there's one monopoly in Asia and one monopoly in the US, uh, that's not good for the world entire, and it's not good for Germany and Europe. So, so those competitive behaviors need to be addressed, uh, and Europe is uh, intensively discussing how we're going to do it. And the second mega trend is pretty obvious: is digitalization, or digitization, um, which is a huge basis for innovation and therefore a huge basis for prosperity. Uh, but it is also um, a problem, again, of monopoly. It's a problem of abuse, and therefore we need to uh, strengthen trust in digitalization. Um, our people want to have it. I think our industry is needed. And... Um, uh, we are pretty much dependent on trust. If a society doesn't have any trust anymore, uh, then it's probably the end. And you can look uh, into the US where trust is at risk in general. And um, we observe the election campaigns in the US and are pretty worried. Maybe you too. So what could be the solution? The solution could be that we have a new task in politics. A new task in politics means we, we try to open a competition in a digital world. Um, and what we mean, open the competition, then we mean it is fair to everybody, even fair to every region. And we have relatively strong uh, proposals uh, for strong new laws which would be, which should be introduced first European wide and hopefully uh, also in Asia and in the US. I start with um, the, the connectivity, a new con connectivity law. What we do mean with it is that we do not want to have closed shops in platforms. Means if you take the example of Facebook, but we also could talk about Alibaba. Um, then you need to be member of the platform in order to connect to other people. 
And if everyone is on the same platform, then um, something like the platform has the strongest po possibilities to instrument uh, or to use their, uh, its instruments uh, and dictate uh, the rules of their playing together with the additional problem that they try to get more and more time of their con consumers being on their platform and therefore um, those people something like intend to see what they want to like to see and therefore people do not talk to each other there's no dialogue but there's like there is a specific kind of isolation where I always get repeated what I already think and that something like polarize um, our society so coming back to the connectivity law we say that if you have a dominant position in, in competition, then you need to open up your platform to be connected to other members' platform. We know there's such a, such a law in telecommunication, so you don't need to be at the same um, customer of the same provider, but you can talk to someone else who is a customer of another provider. Um, so, and... It, if, if I'm a customer of telecom provider A um, and I talk to someone who's a customer of telecom provider B, then I can call him, I can talk to him, but B just is not allowed to have any data of me, he's not allowed to advertise me, etc., etc. So if we would have competition, then we would have different behaviors of platform and then we can have the consumer decide what they allow to their platform. And if they don't allow it, then they can change the platform. Um, and this competition, uh, to my mind, is very useful. Second competition is um, that if I have a dominant position in competition, then I have to share the uh, data I have by my clients, but not the personal data, but the accumulated data or the anonymous data. And that's very important in traffic for us. So if, if, I, if I analyze traffic and I have enough data to our mind, then I have to share this data for free to my competition. Um, we do not want to have, in some years' time, a company who has all the health data and therefore is dominant in the health sector. We want to have competition, we want to have a fair competition, and so therefore we need to share data. data. The third issue is that we very much are in favor for data protection, but if you, if you take this word precisely, then we don't want to protect the data, we want to protect the persons behind the data. Well, that's an important difference. So as data, uh, are growing or we will have more and more data and um, we will have more and more um, power in the computers then um, and therefore we will calculate more data we would um, we, we would something like say that data needs to be not only what you collect the data is the, is the important issue is what, what you do with the data. And therefore we would invent a data auditor which has to come to you and in order to be allowed to collect data, the data auditor has access to all your systems like an auditor in finance um, and check what you do with the data, whether you personalize them or um, do an analysis which are not allowed um, and not fair, and if he uh, finds out such policies in, in a given company, then he's not giving you uh, approval, and if he's not giving approval to you, um, well, if you don't get approval by the data auditor, then you're not allowed to collect data anymore. So that would be a very strong um, result. And um, this data auditor, um, should be invented in Europe and um, every company who's doing business in Europe needs to be audited on a worldwide basis. So no matter whether you come from Asia or from US or from Europe, you have to be 
analyzed by a data auditor. Um, we found out almost 100 years ago that if balance sheets are wrong, that's really dangerous. And therefore, um, since 29 around, um, <clears throat> the, the, uh, the auditor for your finance statement uh, do have really strong rights. Um, and therefore, um, we do see as in the interest of the entire society that your behavior towards data is correct and to have a fair competition and everyone does the same, um, we would invent those uh, data editors. Um, and lastly, I do think that we need more standards in software. And if I talk about standards, I talk about open standards, which are available to everyone. Um, so again, you cannot invent any kind of software and um, something like milk it for years. Uh, you have to open it. And uh, after a given time, which we need to define, uh, every software uh, will become open source uh, by law. Um, and you see, these are relatively radical suggestions we do. And um, we are in the middle of process. Um, uh, there will be a Data Service Act at the end of the year as a suggestion by the European Commission. Um, and we as a, as a German members of parliament in the German Bundestag and in the European Parliament are intensively discussing how we influence it. Um, this will take a little while, but um, there, it like there, there are many, many important discussions going on. Um, I also should mention that AI will, and how we regulate AI is another part of it, uh, many, many parts of it. And that all would give what we call data sovereignty uh, to Europe, which we pretty much promote. Uh, but as long as it's, this is only a word and, you know, there's no, no point in it. Um, so if we need new rules, we need new thinking uh, in politics. Um, and this discussion starts right now. And I'm very glad that uh, you in Asia at this uh, Congress uh, will discuss this issue too. I would love to come and discuss it with you in person, but COVID prevents it to travel right now. I haven't been traveled for months now. Um, but video conference is something good too. So we, would, we protect our environment by not traveling and talking to you um, via video conference. I wish you a very fruitful discussion, a very nice day, and hopefully we see us in person pretty soon. Thank you very much.